Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to introduce you to Excel's Quick Sum Calculator. When you're curious about or if someone asked you what's the total of this range of, de of data or what's the average, use the Quick Sum Calculator. You don't have to do anything other than select at least two numbers and they can be in a block, they can be contiguous, or they can be non-contiguous. Select at least two cells and then come down and look in the status bar. And here we can see that the sum of our selection is 6,666. If I want to change the function, I right click on the function in the status bar and very easily I get the average or I get the count. In this case, Excel on the Quick Calculator has provided a distinction between count, which in this case will count text as well as the numbers, or strictly a numeric count, the highest value, which is the max function, the highest numeric value, I should say, or the lowest numeric value, which is the min function. So one way to take advantage of this would be when you've already produced subtotals of your data. In this case, we've subtotaled our data to produce uh, totals using the sum function. Well, if we would like to find out the average all we have to do is select the range of values and come down and look in the status bar and select average and there's our average for our subtotal without having to go back and revise or rewrite our subtotal. So there's a great way to take advantage of this. I'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.